Page 8, Toreador Song. This is a melody from an opera. This is not piano music, this is an arrangement. Since it's an arrangement, we have certain leeways. So if this were a piano piece written by the composer and this is the way he wrote it, then we're kind of, we need to be careful. But when it's an arrangement like that, we learn it the way it's written first and then we, we can rearrange it if we want to. So let's just talk about what's here. Common time with one flat. So it's an F major or D minor. If you look at the end, it's an F major chord. I'm guessing it's an F major. So you need to be doing my scale and arpeggio videos on F major. Do the intermediate two octaves up and down. F major and D minor both because they both have one flat in them. Do them both. So for Toreador song, right hand first. Again, let's get the notes in the fingering. We're going to try and play it as legato as we can. So it's here. That's one and two and. Or one e and a two e and a one e and a two. I kind of feel those dotted rhythms. Just make sure that 16th note is short. Don't turn it into a triplet. Now I'll come back to that little grace note. When I'm first doing this, I leave out the ornaments. I just play the notes. So I'm playing the melody legato. I can't play it all legato, but I can do the melody. And the second line, they're saying fourth finger. I like fifth finger myself. Do you want to do fourth finger? It's up to you. I, I prefer fifth finger. I'll talk about this fingering when we add the grace note, because the grace note can change the fingering. But right now, let's just keep it simple. Then thumb. And here I do a, a three, one, three. So I'm not using the same finger. That's kind of dangerous, especially if it's quick. Some teachers teach that. They, I'll just use the same fingers. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think it's, you're better off in the long run if you can learn to use different fingers on repeated notes, especially when they're fast. And on this, just a simple three, one, three. Works quite well. And then the two. Three. And that E is tied. So you're going to lift up on the A and then go ahead. And it's a triplet. So it's one and, one triplet, one triplet. So let's go back to the bottom of page eight and get into that. Last measure, you're here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that whole note hangs out forever. And then when you get this other part, it's Top of page nine, one and two and three. And once you get the feeling of that, you don't need to count it, you do it. Now, they're, they're saying three and four, and that's okay. I tend to just stay there and use, and that's okay if, you, if those fingers are working. If they're not, then three and four is better. You can also do a three and five. I do that a lot too, because that too, but if I mean, that's kind of awkward when you're three and four, but three and five is easier. So it's, if you want to do three, five, that's fine. Rest, you come down here, rest, and then we got 16th notes, I'll come back to those. And it gets back to what you were doing at the beginning. Let's go down to the last line. Here, it's like it was at the top line, isn't it? It's whichever fingering you're using. You can use 4-5, you can use 3-4, you can use 3-5. Decide one. Whatever you do, if it's not what the, the book is showing, then pencil in what you're doing and stick with it. Huh? Rest. Next measure. Left hand. Keep the left hand down. It's here. You're in this position, really. It's like a march. And here's second finger on the G. Two, 
2-4 or 3-4. I prefer 3-4 because I just did a little finger. Then come up. Don't forget the B flat. That 2 works better on the B flat because then you got the F coming up. You're in position. Then here, B natural. And then 4-2-1, come down. Three, two, one. You stay in this position. Here you gotta use third finger. I'll come back to this sixteenth note passage. Let's go on. The, well, it's more than what of what you had. Let's put the hands together at the beginning. Here, slowly. If you have a hesitate here and there, fine. We don't worry about that right now. Just here. We're just working out. Trying to get the hands to work together and play it all the gumbo. See there, the right hand is tied but not the left. B flat, I left up on the A. So the last measure of page eight is here. Right here, right there, when we hit lift up. Now these sixteenth notes. Let's just figure out the notes in the fingering first. So we're starting out four. The right hand does its four. Now we third now it's third finger. And then here. So once you get that worked out, then you can gradually smooth that out slowly. Good. And then over time you speed that back up to one. Two E and a one E and a two E and a one E. It's got to sound like one hand played the whole thing through. It's got to be controlled. It's got to be even. And I recommend you put a little natural accent. Feel a little natural accent on each beat. So we got one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it's one, two, three. We had that one in it. You feel it. Don't force it, feel it. Because if you feel it, you'll play it now. Like so. Let's go down to the bottom. Last line, you're here. We'll do the last measure of the next line. You're here. Now watch out here. When I play the B flat, I'm going to lift up on the A here. together and then I'll go back and I'll get rid of the hesitations because you might hesitate here and there so you practice this a few times don't worry about articulation all that other junk get rid of those hesitations you can still go slow you don't need to speed it up yet and then when you're ready when you get rid of them you can play it through and the beat goes on because this is a march and a march the tempo has to stay the same you don't slow down or speed up in a march because people are marching you don't want them falling over themselves so it's got to be the same and once you can do that, then we can go back and add the articulation and the ornaments. I'll do them both at the same time. And this is a nice light wrist staccato. Now, the left hand has it. The right hand doesn't all the time. So the right hand only has it sometimes, but the left hand has it all the time. And that sempre marcato means always marked or always give it a little oh this is where we are dude yeah that's a and that little grace note is a very short little note and people don't agree on how it's interpreted I had whatever I'm not getting into it I play it on the beat I'll play the B flat with the F along with the note in the 
Some people want it before the beat. I don't like it before the beat. There's a way of notating the music differently if they want it before the beat, and that's it, ain't it? So I'm going to do it on the beat. You'll have to do it however you feel, but just make sure it's a short note. So at the beginning again. that and then here so now that's not staccato now this watch out now it's staccato on the right hand but not the left Silence between each of these slurs. So here. Accent. And then this is all slurred together. Like you did before. And then at the end, the last line, again, staccatos. There's a, that's a tenuto on that line. Did you notice the little line across it that we had at the top? Hang on to that. Some people will put a little more stress on it, some won't. Just hang, make sure you hang on to that. So again, hang on to that. Accent, accent. I don't know that you need accents with fortissimo notes on a piano. Just play them loud. Make sure the last note is louder than the 16th note because people will tend to play the short note loud. They'll do that and that's okay in jazz, that's what you want to do, accent the short note. But here it's the quarter note. Now that's the, what we want. Then when you get all that we can put in the dynamics. It's loud, that's the top. That's loud, everything else is softer than that. Can you do that? Can you? Can you keep these other hands? Can you play one hand, one note louder than another in the same hand is what I'm getting at. If you can't, do the best you can. Now you're soft and that's the right hand. The left hand has to be very soft. It's a contrast. We want contrast in music. We like it. doesn't say how much to come down. Come down to about a moderately loud. Just come down a little bit. Excellent. And now you're going to molto crescendo means get a loud crescendo a lot. We're going to go all the way up to fortissimo because in the next measure that's the climax of the piece. This is where our hair stands on end. This is exciting. But we want to lead into that. So I, one beat at a time, just get a little louder. And it's got to be all smooth and even though, and it's just each beat gets a little louder. One, louder, louder. Just, just, I'm exaggerating. The idea is you have to practice that so that you, you're going from moderately soft up to very loud. And that loud. That's very loud. Don't get more than moderately loud with everything else. Now I'm down to moderately soft. Then you're going to go back up to loud. That's the, that note is loud. Everything else is under it. I want you to crescendo. I can't crescendo that. It's the left hand. So that means we're up to very loud again. Very loud. I was already very loud. I didn't have to know. 
you have to experiment with it. As I said, this is an arrangement. Get to know it and you can adjust things later after you, you get to feeling them. But this is a march. The tempo's got to be steady, whatever it is. A left, right, left, march tempo. So something along that. Now they've added pedal in a few places and I need to talk about that. You can get, get by with playing this whole thing without pedal. I just did almost, more or less. But we, can, we use pedals for different reasons. And so this gives us another lesson on why do we use pedal. In the second line there, we're just coloring this note. And the fact that we're covering up the staccato on the left hand is secondary. I mean, we still do the technique. We just we want the overtones there. Again, we're, we're pedaling that note for the overtones. Now here, we're pedaling because it gets louder and we want lots of overtones. And then, but I got problems with page nine here. If I pedal it the way they're showing, it's this way. Uh, start with the last measure on page 8. I think that's very mushy, and that's getting a little carried away. So, at the top of page 9, if I pedal it at all, I'm going to lift it up when I play the, the C sharp D, I'm going to lift it up on the D. We're coming down, we're getting a little softer. I want to clean out some of that sound. And I gotta change the pedal or something there, so I just looked it up. And on the next measure, you have a choice. Then I want the color there. And then this is, is a contrast. See, so they don't all sound the same, and that's really why it's been pedaled that way. You have to experiment as the sound you're after. What do you think it should be? The, the pedaling is all right, except I just don't agree with pedaling that first measure. Or, uh, I, you know, I only pedal the first couple of beats or so of it. Just make sure in the second measure you lift it up before you play the eighth note. We want to hear a phrase there. Here you pedal that at the end of the line, it's accent, but don't pedal on the next line, don't pedal that note, and the left hand is staccato anyway, and don't pedal that run, and here you're pedaling just the first beat of each measure to give it a little extra oomph, yeah. Again, we're back to what we did before. And, and the, the last two lines. Here, here, but then the next measure it's beats one and three. So one, two, three, four. The last line I do this the same as I did the first And that's a staccato. Both hands. And then here, I disagree. I would pedal those. Because this is it's loud, you're ending it. I want overtones here. I don't want that to be dry. So I would pedal that. So the last line there. how I think it should go. It's my opinion. Yeah, you get to know the piece and you, you experiment with it. You'll get the sounds you want. You just don't violate anything they're telling you, but this is an arrangement, so rearrange it if you need to. That's fine. <laughs>